This lecture is brought to you by Megger, a leading manufacturer of electrical test and measurement equipment. I've trusted Megger's equipment for years and have witnessed firsthand their commitment to education and supporting technical schools across the country. For a limited time, Megger is offering my viewers an exclusive discount on their next purchase on products sold through U.S. distributors. Simply visit us.megger.com slash bigbadtech for all the details. Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm instructor Jim Pytel and today's topic of discussion is auto transformers. Our objective is to introduce the auto transformer. We'll compare and contrast traditional transformers with auto transformers and learn to analyze circuits including auto transformers. Recall in the transformers lecture, available at the Big Bad Tech channel, we introduced the electrical device known as the transformer. Traditional transformers use a pair of inductively linked windings to step up or step down applied voltage and provide a means of electrically isolating one system from another. An auto transformer is a special type of transformer with only one winding, and that single winding, or portions of it, serve as both primary or secondary. Like traditional transformers, auto transformers can step up or down applied voltage depending upon configuration. The principal advantage of auto transformers is that in comparison to a similarly rated traditional transformer, auto transformers are smaller, lighter, and less expensive. The disadvantage of auto transformers is that, being constructed with a single winding, the primary and secondary windings are not electrically isolated from one another, and an auto transformer cannot be used in an application requiring electrical isolation between systems. A step-down auto transformer uses the complete single winding as the primary input, and only a portion of it is used as a secondary output. Conversely, a step-up auto transformer uses only a portion of the single winding as the primary input, and the complete winding is used as a secondary output. Let's look at each configuration separately. Perhaps the easiest way to visualize a step-down auto transformer is to first imagine a traditional one-to-one -one transformer with primary and secondary windings having identical turn ratios. Let's say 1,500 turns in the primary and 1,500 turns in the secondary. Let's say this traditional transformer has 120 volt rated voltage, a one amp rated current, and a power rating 120 volt amperes. Let's say this transformer weighs eight pounds. When 120 volts is applied to the primary and given a one-to-one -one turns ratio, 120 volts will appear across the secondary. Via the process of electromagnetic induction, 120 volt amperes of power could be transferred from the primary to the load and the secondary. In the present configuration, no physical electrical connection exists between the primary and secondary, and these windings can be considered to be electrically isolated from one another. If isolation isn't a necessity, consider the following modification. Configured as a step-down auto transformer, one would connect the previously isolated two windings in a series aiding fashion. This allows a total of 120 plus 120 or 240 volts to be applied across the single winding. Output is then taken across half the larger winding. If you want to think of it this way, the primary input winding is 1,500 plus 1,500 or 3,000 turns, and the secondary output winding has 1,500 turns, even though they're part of the same winding. We've in effect created a two to one step down auto transformer. For this configuration, 240 volt input results in 120 volt output. What's interesting about auto transformers is how current flows through them. You know, configured in this fashion, each winding is still limited to a maximum of one amp. Consider a purely resistive 60 ohm load on the secondary. An application of AC Ohm's law solvent for current demonstrates the load draws two amps of current from the secondary side of the auto transformer. An application of the AC power formula demonstrates the load consumes 240 volt amperes of apparent power, of which 240 watts is directed towards real power and zero VARs is directed towards reactive interchange. Assuming the auto transformer is 100% efficient, we can say power in equals power out, such that the source must supply 240 volt amperes of apparent power. An algebraic manipulation of the power equation, solving for current, demonstrates the primary input side of the auto transformer would draw one amp of current from the 240 volt source. An application of Kirchhoff's current law at the center tap demonstrates one amp of current enters and two amps leaves. This means the remaining one amp comes from the secondary winding bottom to top. Ultimately, what you achieve in the step down configuration is two loops of current, both traveling clockwise. The high voltage low current primary side includes one path for current, whereas the low voltage high current secondary includes both paths. Consider the amount of power capable of being transferred by the auto transformer. You recall when configured as a traditional transformer, 120 volt ampere input resulted in 120 volt ampere output. You recall the transformer weighed eight pounds. Configured as an auto transformer, 
The same 8-pound transformer uses both windings, each with a 120 volt and 1 amp rating, transfers a total of 240 volt amperes of power. This is to suggest that auto transformers can transfer more power in a smaller, lighter, less expensive package. This being said, you'll note the single winding serving as both primary and secondary defeats the isolation feature of a traditional transformer because the primary and secondary are now electrically and physically tied together. I should note that a doubling of power rating is the maximum one might expect to achieve for an auto transformer. Other turns ratios do result in more power transfer, but not quite double as that of a traditional transformer with isolated primary and secondary windings. As an example, consider a traditional 4 to 1 step down transformer with a 480 volt and 1 amp rated primary and a 120 volt 4 amp rated secondary for a total rating of 480 volt amperes. Let's say the primary is 2000 turns and the secondary is 500 turns. Now consider these same windings configured as a step down auto transformer with 2000 plus 500 or 2500 turns in the primary and 500 turns in the secondary. This means 480 plus 120 or 600 volts can be applied to the primary. The turns ratio of 2500 to 500 suggests that this is a 5 to 1 step down auto transformer. 600 volt input could be stepped down to 120 volt output. If we are asked to supply power to a 24 ohm load, an application of Ohm's law solved for current demonstrates the load would draw 5 amperes of current. An application of the AC power formula demonstrates the load consumes 600 volt amperes of apparent power, of which 600 watts is directed towards real power and 0 virus is directed towards a reactive interchange. Assuming the auto transformer is 100% efficient, we can say power in equals power out, such that the primary input must also supply 600 volt amperes of apparent power. An algebraic manipulation of the power equation, solving for current, demonstrates the primary input side of the auto transformer must draw 1 amp of current from the source. An application of Kirchhoff's current law at the center tap demonstrates 1 amp of current enters and 5 amps leaves. This means the remaining 4 amps would travel through the secondary winding bottom to top. What you achieve in the step down configuration is 2 loops of clockwise traveling current, one having a magnitude of 1 amp, the other having a magnitude of 4 amps, such that the load experiences 1 plus 4 or 5 amps of current. As previously, consider the amount of power capable of being transferred by these same windings when configured as an auto transformer. You recall when configured as a traditional transformer, it only had a rating of 480 volt amps. However, when configured as a step down auto transformer, it allows the same device to transfer 600 volt amperes and an increase of 1.25 times without ever exceeding the rating of either winding.